Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. I don't know if it's hot where you guys are, but shit. Like, I don't know why they say we have um, spring and fall. Because we don't. Like, it goes from winter, and then it goes to summer like that. So, like, one day we're getting snow, the next day it's up to 30 degrees. Seriously. Ask any Canadian. And then you go into the fall. It's not, like, fall, though. Because it could be, like, summer right up until October, November, and then all of a sudden, poof, we get snow. Like, it's crazy. Oh, it's just so hard to adjust. Like, I'm sweating my ass off sitting here doing nothing. I've got one air conditioner, and I've got, uh, I'm only on one level home. I'm a bungalow. So I've got the air conditioner in my kitchen. And even that puppy running 24-7, like, yeah, it helps, but holy hell. I can't do too much because I'll start sweating to death. It's gross. I, like, I, I really do enjoy summer, but it just sucks when it gets too hot where you can't do anything. Like, I wanted to go out, maybe get a tan. It's too hot. Sitting there, it's like, no, I'm going to pass out. Anyways, I'm not in a good mood today. I think it's just because, like, just seeing everything that KJ is getting away with um, is really pissing me off. And I've been talking to some people, some creators and stuff, and it's, you know, it's not only me. It's them, too. When the fuck is enough going to be enough? I mean, I think the title of my video tonight should be Bullying, Harassment, Stalking among other things, it's against the law. And I think, honestly, that law enforcement should be involved with KJ. Um, she's committing crimes. She's always committing crimes. Always. There's proof of her committing crimes, yet nothing's ever done. I'll tell you one thing, though. Robert Shin, Miranda, 7M, James, they're not settling. And now, because of KJ and her fucked up Netflix series that she calls her own good, call it, our, call it your own baby. Because Netflix is going to be the next one to be sued. Yeah. I was reading something that was a statement from 7M and uh, they want to deal with it in the court of law. And I'm happy for that. Also, yesterday I was telling you guys about how I'm getting sick and tired of YouTubers being silenced for opinions. And even if it's fact, they're trying to silence us. I'm getting, I'm so sick and tired of it. They slap ROs on us, start lawsuits for nothing. Go after KJ. She's the problem here. Not me, not any other YouTubers. I do have some good news, good news though. Fancy Miss Ellie, the Good Wife Network, it was dismissed. I was so happy to hear that because it gives me hope for my other friends that are in, got ROs on them right now or who are in other lawsuits that shouldn't be happening. But Fancy's lawsuit got dismissed. The judge was pissed off. They're like, because she literally found out about it and had to make a 10-hour drive to show up at 9 a.m. The girl didn't even sleep. I saw her little video, and she said, like, she was happy. She goes, yeah, it was dismissed. Why can't that happen with the R01? What the fuck is happening here in Kansas? I have a really hard time with that one. Anyways, God forbid I get sued next, so I better shut up, right? <laughs> so Kelly Wilking, Miranda's mother, decided to share this. And this person says, this series is mind-blowing. Finished this series last night. Highly recommend. Let, let me your thoughts if you want, decide to watch it. Well done to Melanie Wilking and her family for speaking out. Wow. After what I read, what Miranda said yesterday, her family should be fucking, like, ashamed of themselves. This other one Kelly Wilking posted. Please watch and create awareness. Support my cousins trying to safely return her daughter from these awful people. This is a family that did everything right for their children and love from them dearly also. Use this to tell your children the signs of what control and manipulation look like to create awareness. Kelly Wilking, you are inspiring that you have never given up. Really? I'm glad Miranda spoke out. And I'm glad that all of us YouTubers are reading what she said. Because it's true. I don't for one second think that she is being mind controlled or held hostage or anything like that. 7M is not a cult. It's a dance company, management company, right? As for Shekinah Church, I don't know. I don't know enough about that to call it a cult. From what other people have been saying, their opinions, they believe that it's cultish. Sure. I don't know. I don't go there. I don't talk to those people. I have no fucking clue. I have just recorded and edited a response to Robert Shin and Miranda after he had her release a statement blaming her lawsuit with me, my reporting, and her parents were attacking her. Girl, 
You give yourself too much credit. Your name wasn't even fucking mentioned. You're a nobody. I only request that everyone watch and share the video on my YouTube to ensure the message is heard by as many people as possible. Really? That's all this is, isn't it, KJ? I, I, my, me. <laughs> See all that, guys? My official statement about Miranda Derrick's false allegations about her family, me, and the docuseries. Again, you were not mentioned. She doesn't give a shit about you. You're like one of those fire ants that keep going up the crack of your ass and biting you. That's you. Typical Robert Shin using Miranda to fight his battles while deflecting and blaming her family and me. Again, you were not mentioned at all. You have nothing to do with what she said. Quit making this about you, KJ, you fucking trauma vulture. Miranda's response is not the truth. She blames her, blames her family and me for the lies in the series. Again, you are not fucking mentioned. Get over yourself, you narcissistic twat. Please watch until the end I responded to the statement, which none of us believe is written by Amanda. Who's us and who's we? You're the only one stupid enough to keep opening your mouth, and that's why I call you mouth, because that's all you are. Her statement makes clear that she did not watch the series. If she did, she would know that the issues raised in the series had little to do with what she is mentioning. <laughs> She said she watched it. You don't know if she hasn't. She says she wrote that, and you don't know if she hasn't. Who are you to even open your fucking mouth anymore? You should be in prison. Robert Shin is blaming your parents, Melanie and me. Again, you were not mentioned. This has, sorry, this has been his MO since 2022. No, it hasn't. His MO has been getting you to shut the fuck up, but you won't, so you're sued. The only person Miranda is suing is me. The only person Miranda is suing is me. Her lawsuit has nothing to do with the series. <laughs> she was only added to Robert's lawsuit to try to stop her parents from speaking to me. That's not even true. As soon as the lawsuit started, they were all together, Mouth. Yeah. Miranda's not suing production or her family. She can speak, but Robert won't let her. She has spoke. Are you kidding me? Robert views all of us as evil. He will never acknowledge the crimes he has committed and will always attack and malign his victims. Let me replace Robert with KJ. KJ views all of us as evil. She will never acknowledge the crimes she has committed and will always attack and malign her victims. And I stand by that statement. Miranda attacking her family is done by Robert. She didn't attack her family. If you have attacked everyone. Not by her. Robert wants the negative PR to stop. He wants her to still be profitable. Do not let him win. This series was not about Miranda and only Miranda. Uh, yeah, the whole first episode was. Uh-huh. Robert is the one driving this narrative because he is and continues to be too much of a coward to actually speak for himself or turn himself into police. He did make a statement, too, that you have failed to read, clearly. The Wilkins of me are not the evil ones. Thank you. <laughs> She's loving this. And she really thought she was going to become a somebody. If you actually go to her channel and look at all her views, she's got like 40,000 tops, 13,000, 15,000, 20,000. Girl, you're canceled. Get over yourself. Please watch until the end. I kind of believe her. I'm going to leave this alone until she decides to leave. Is that you, Hannah or Shirley? Not everyone that disagrees with you is Hannah or Shirley. You are delusional. <laughs> Stop harassing these people. You are doing more harm than good. It's none of your business what these people do or what they choose to do as they are adults. This one says, we can't even read the full response. Can you remove your caption on it? Mo says, no, I can't remove our caption. The caption is irrelevant. My God, she's such a bitch. This is why you don't have subscribers. That's why you're buying a thousand of them on every Tuesday of every week. Yes, it is irrelevant. No need to be rude. I was just trying to read the whole statement is all. The statement is on Miranda's Instagram. I just seen that. Go to Miranda's page to read it. I found it. Thank you. They had to tell her to go to Miranda's page to read it because Mouth is a piece of shit. She's a lost soul. It's not her. Inside, she's a good person. That person is lost for now. I think they are bothered with people telling her to get out. No, they are bothered because she isn't making them money. Holy, you are fucking crazy. Like, you're nuts. Like, you're not all there. Elevator, elevator does not go all the way to the top. There's no lights on upstairs. You need help. 
You need intervention for your drinking and your pill popping and your pill sniffing. You also need intervention from law enforcement because you are stalking and harassing and bullying people. You're a danger to everyone. I think she gained Bowler since this documentary, which just makes her more money for them. Everyone and Bo, these people. Oh, look at that. More Tortious Interference thanks, interfered, thanks to Mouth. I hope the Wilkings don't give up. This monster must be held accountable. Mouth says, we are all committed to stay in this fight for the long run. The Wilkings aren't going to be intimidated anymore. Meanwhile, KJ has not spoken to the Wilkings in over two years. They don't talk. It's funny how she won't let our little peers know that though, right? Thank you for keeping the story in the forefront. There is no anointing on this individual. He deserve, he serves as master, though, and his master's name is Money. Seven on films. So they decide to put out a statement. And what I'm reading, well, when I read this to you, you let me know if you think he's going after uh, Netflix, because honestly, I think they should. The Netflix docuseries is a slanderous work of fiction, born from a failed extortion attempt, and invented for the sole purpose of gaining fame and fortune. Two years ago, Melanie Lee Goldman, Priscilla Lee, a.k.a. Alicia Priscilla Lee, and her, sorry, their co-conspirators launched a con concerted smear campaign to defame Robert Shin, his family, and his business associates after Mr. Shin did not capulate to Miss Lee's extortion demands. Despite, despite, <laughs> despite sworn statements from co-conspirators, that confirms a scheme by Mrs. Goldman and Miss Lee to disseminate widespread lies. Netflix recklessly provided a global platform to peddle a false narrative that is at the center of ongoing litigation. We will continue to pursue all legal remedies available to stop the spread of salacious, salacious lies and expect to be fully vindicated in court. Damn, Netflix, you done screwed up. Oh, this idiot. Robert Shin's new narrative. The docuseries is a smear campaign that has been crafted by two women who tried to extort him. They did, actually. I read the document. They stated if Robert Shin didn't do this, then they were coming after him. That's extortion. He also plays the victim and states that he's the victim of slander and lies. He very well might could be, actually, because nothing has been proven in court. He's never been charged with anything. He accuses Melanie Lee and Priscilla Lee of extortion. They didn't extort him. Really? Because I begged to differ. I saw the fucking... Again, I saw the legal documents. And I beg to differ. He flexes his legal card, which means he's probably going to waste more money in lawsuits that he can't afford and won't ever comply with discovery orders. Girl, you have held on to two years worth of discovery that you will not hand over. The court is waiting on you. I've already proved that. I've already showed that in videos. So stop lying. Just remember, Robert had the opportunity to respond. Production used his own words. We have receipts of the banking transactions, fraud, money laundering, etc. We have corroborated statements from six former members to two families. Yeah, from what, 20 years ago? That ain't relevant, girl. We have public records, audio and video of his statements. But what he meant to say was to praise the Lord we're our famous hallelujah. On the flip side, maybe with all these lawsuits that he's filing, he will break up, break, rupt himself in his own legal fees. At LA office, at LASDHQ, it's time to arrest this menace to society. Free information, being that everyone is being sued by Robert. I thought you said it was just you, Mouth. No fame or fortune for this girl, but praise Jesus that Robert is not afraid of the courts being that law enforcement is watching him. You are an atheist. How dare you say praise Jesus? You're not entitled to. Okay. I think law enforcement needs to be tagged with KJ. Um, I'm sorry, but enough. I uh, know. Sorry that I'm not sorry. Enough is enough. She's a danger and someone's going to get fucking hurt. It's time, y'all. Hi, Shirley. Is this how you spy on me and make sure to report back to my post to Roberto? But you will delete this. You're fucking nuts. Good morning. I think Netflix needs to give my brother, B-Dash, and his wife... It's Miranda Derrick, a documentary of their side of the story. That shit is a one-sided story. Why wasn't James' family interviewed for this documentary? He has family, too. Oh, I needed these because another person is reporting her ass. So... Dating for the Devil is number one in Netflix still. We have been number one since the release, and the series is now number one in 27 countries. Why do you lie? I fucking checked two days ago, and it wasn't even the top ten for Canada or the United States. Like, why do you lie? It's so easy to check that. God, I hate liars. When I first broke the story in 2022, remember, this is important because she said she didn't break the story. She learned it from other people. But now she's bragging yet again that she broke the story. And that is why you're being sued. And now they can prove in your own words that, yes, you did say that in court. 
I knew the story needed a bigger platform. The mainstream media picked up the story for a bit of time. However, Robert Shin began threatening legal action against everyone that spoke about the series. No. No, it had nothing to do with the series while you're being sued. Your mouth is what got you sued. Your lies. Your slanderous lies. Your stalking and harassing and bullying. Yeah, that's what got you sued. Podcasters, content creators, and media outlets were hit with cease and desist. These letters did cause many people to back off the story. Then he began the campaign to switch the narrative like he heard in his own words in the series. Robert admits on audio to directing Miranda to visit the enemy, her parents in Michigan. He told her to go live. She was directed to record to the meeting and instructed her to post to, on social media. You, you like how she like lies with one of the way she talks? It's like, it's like something true, lie, lie, lie. True, lie, 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 lie. That's all she does. You're a known liar. Robert and his mentors created multiple Instagram accounts. Really? Where's the proof? Elicited the help of YouTube content creators. Really? Again, where's the proof? Because I ain't getting fucking paid here. Neither is anyone else. To smear the Wilkings and my reporting, he instructed the members to see their families and he told them to cut off their families without them knowing they were cut off. You're crazy. Oh my gosh. He made the dancer members sign NDAs in order to stay in church and ensure that nothing more was leaked. Really? Just like you made your cleaners sign NDAs? What are you hiding in that household that you don't want to be revealed, KJ? Time for the police to show up because I, from what I understand, when you have people sign NDAs, that's not a good fucking thing. What are you hiding? What are you hiding? How's your taxes? How's your son? He made the dancer, sorry, he weaponized Miranda against her family and made the members believe her family was evil. He attacked all reporters, including me. You are not a reporter and he did not attack you. He sued you. Yesterday, he used the same tactics. Miranda was forced to put up a statement. Eh, wrong. Which we do not believe that she wrote. She did. Miranda blamed her family and me for one-sided comment documentary. Again, you weren't in it. She didn't say a word about you. This isn't about you. Holy fuck. She claimed to have seen the series, but her response was obvious that she didn't watch the series. That's all you do is talk. That's why your mouth. Robert responded on his tiny 7M Instagram account and threatened to sue everyone. Where? Like, Really? He's saying he's going to continue with the lawsuit and he's going to continue to put the truth out there by the law. Like, fuck. She claimed to have seen the series. Sorry, I just read that. Oh, my God. He accused Melanie and Lee and Priscilla of extortion, which is true. Robert accused Netflix of giving liars a platform to spread their lies, which they did. Finally, he accused production of being in a giant conspiracy with the members to ruin his business. I believe that's true. We know the pressure is working. Please continue to, to share the series and tag law enforcement and ask them to finally arrest Robert Shin. Please do not let Robert find a way to win back public f uh, favor with his games. I, okay, well, that's what you want. We know what I want. I want people to, I would love people to tag law enforcement because I think that it's time that you get arrested. Your time is done. You need to go. James Derrick responded to the docuseries by resharing a post from his sister about the series being one-sided. James was offered an opportunity to speak. Contact was made with James. He refused to participate. He was asked multiple times to share his side. Derrick and Jessica both told me that James declined. So James didn't say that. <laughs> Fuck. No one from James' family spoke publicly before the series came out. You just said they did. Derrick and Jessica both said no. But now you're saying... No one spoke out. I am so confused. We did make contact with several of his friends and his ex-wife and roommates. Oh my god. Unfortunately, no one wanted to speak on camera. So it's either you did or you didn't. Because you literally lied in three paragraphs. Like, what the hell? My question to his sister about the situation would be, are you okay with your brother being involved in a church where the pastor has all of the control and the pastor has been accused of essay by multiple women? Are you okay with details shared by the former members? Are you being influenced by Robert and his one-sided narrative to try to deflect from the truth? We know that Robert 100% love bombs some families and will also not force some members to fully go no contact. And that just, that right there, you saying that, just minimizes you saying they're in a cult. If it was a cult, they'd all have to abide by his rules, and they're not. This was shared in the series. James had a chance to speak. James said no, <laughs> but he didn't talk to James. James doesn't need his own series because he turned down his chance. I think he and Miranda do need their own series, and it's not your fucking business. James is a victim. James is not to blame. Yet, that's all you've done is blame them, right? 
Robert's making them all look terrible, and it's heartbreaking. These posts are created to create arguments and fights to distract from Robert's action. Stay focused on him. I think we should all stay focused on KJ without a crystal ball, without a pot to piss in, mouth, drunky joy, <laughs> without a box of Kleenex. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a reply to you. Hi, of course I watched it, and I'm always protected and in God's hand, but you don't understand how media marketing works or Hollywood. It's a one-sided documentary with money-hungry motives that you wouldn't know about because you technically don't know me or my personal life. This is, uh, I believe this was B-Dash's sister. I'm probably wrong, but that's who I think it is, the priestess one. Yeah. I appreciate your concern, but I'm very aware I have the Holy Spirit. I am not faking or pretending like most Christians do. Oh, burn! Uh-oh. Did she find out about you faking being a Christian, KJ? I stand by my church, and that's it for now on that. Now, if you are truly rooting for me like you just wrote, then no matter what, you stick by, especially when things on the outside look bad. If you have more to say, you can always send me a personal message. <laughs> what a mess and a mockery this idiot is making, right? I just, wow, I'm so done with this girl. It's karma, man. Come on, karma. Get your bitch ass over to KJ, please. Karma's a bitch. Where are you? Anyways, oh, guys, I hope you have a good night. And you hoo for uh, Fancy. I'm glad that Fancy won because it makes me feel like there's still a chance for my other friends that are going through something similar. And it's not okay. Opinions and freedom of speech is not against the law. Facts are not against the law. You can't just silence people. Enough is a fuck enough. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.